Jim Halavik here with Draft Express. We're at the FIBA Americas U18 with Steven Zimmerman. Steven, how has Colorado Springs been for you? Uh, you know, it's been a really great experience. Uh, I love being out here all the, the basketball time, you know, being with the, uh, these great players and then off the court, you know, the, the weather's kind of shifty, but it's, it's pretty fun so far. Uh, what's it been like having a limited role because you're playing with so many good players? Um, you know, it's it's kind of kind of challenging, but um, you know, be, I, I still get to run and do do what I like to do. So, um, you know, it's uh, it's all good so far. Have you ever played for the United States before? Uh, no, I I came here and tried out for the 16 and under team, uh, but I was three months too old, so I I couldn't make it. What's it like to play for USA on your chest? Uh, it's a huge blessing. You know, um, I love being here. You know, my parents are. Stepmom's crying after every game, so <laughs> it's, you know it's always good. The competition here isn't the highest level, but what about the practices and the training camp? How was that for you? Uh, it's really fun, you know, playing against Miles Turner every day and uh, playing with Chase Jeter, and you know it's uh, it's really fun. We're all learning together. What's the in store for you the rest of the summer? Uh, just a lot of camps and a lot of basketball, working out. You know, uh, we got Peach Jam coming up, so um, it's pretty busy. What are you uh, looking for in a college? That's the question you get all the time. Uh, you know, I, I think a college is going to develop me most, get me ready for the next level. Uh, my ultimate goal is to go to the NBA. So, you know, whatever school can really help me go there. Um, whatever, all the schools that are on my list are, you know, great schools and are going to be a great experience. So, do you think you're one and done at this point? Uh, you, you know, you can never assume that, but um, you know, that's the plan. Um, hopefully, but you know, if it, if it happens to be more than that, it's fine. So for pl people who have never seen you before, can you describe your game on the court? Um, you know, I, I try to be an overall player, do as much as I can. Uh, as a big man, sometimes I'll rebound and push it myself. Uh, I can shoot. I can also post up and do back to the basket stuff. Uh, I'll block shots, you know, try to rebound a lot. Are there any players in the NBA that people compare you to? Um, I Kind of Chris Bosh. I've heard that a couple times, but uh, I think I'm better than Chris Bosh. No, I'm <laughs> Uh, who do you model your game after? Like, who do you watch to get tips on how to get better from the NBA? Um, you know, I, I try to get little things off of different players. You know, I think I try to be the best, the best player I can be. So, you know, I try to uh, have quick, quick explosiveness like Blake Griffin, footwork, Tim Duncan. You know, um, just a bunch of different stuff. What do you need to work on going forward to be a better player? Um, probably, uh, I don't know if you can really work on it. Playing consistently. Um, you know, I'll, I'll have a couple of good games and a couple of bad games, you know, uh, but me being a, a high status player, I guess, you know, we, uh, I have to try to play more consistent, play on a, a higher level. Uh, there are people that say that you, you have an elbow that doesn't flex all the way or there's some kind of elbow problem. Is that true? And what is the elbow situation? Um, I broke it whenever I was a little kid. So, um, you know, I can still, I can straighten it as, you know, as much as I can. It's curved a little bit, but, um, you know, it, it doesn't really affect how I play or anything. I can still use my right hand, dribble, stuff like that. Uh, I was wrestling with my dad, and I fell off on the bed. Nice. Thanks a lot, Stephen. Good luck to you. Thank you.